won't spend too much time, um, I suppose, reliving what happened on Saturday, but I suppose the frustration still breathes, breathes wild in you. Um, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated with the last 10 minutes. Um... Just because we didn't manage the game as well as we had done previous for for the previous eighty minutes, but uh, I think when I when I talk to you guys after conceding ninety seventh minute equaliser, it kind of taints and dictates how the how I feel, how everyone feels about it, how you feel watching it. Um, but on the whole, I thought we were really good on the managing the, a tough pitch, more definitely more us than it as was the last two games. Real control. We had so many opportunities in their final third to to make more of them and we didn't um, and what happened the last 10 minutes is that you know they brought on five fresh sets of fresh legs gave them much more energy at the top end of the pitch because we'd worked the other guys really hard um, so they used you know that five subs they used really to their advantage which was which was obviously good a good thing for them and we couldn't we couldn't quite see it out and um, we have numerous chances to keep the ball away from our goal and we don't quite do it well enough so yeah I'm I am disappointed with that, but on the whole, I'm very, very pleased with how we played. There's lots of positives to take, um, lots for us to move forward and improve on, and and and, and you know the process continues. Today, the guys will have a chance to see that for themselves and um, and learn from it. I think when I look at and you put every, in everything in context, we look at our squad, the players on the pitch. We've got guys who are very, very early on in their career very early on in their terms of League One experience. Um, and all of this stuff is going to be unbelievable learning for them and, and prepare them brilliantly for, for what lies ahead for the rest of this season, for next season. And that's why I'm so excited long term about what we have here and what we're doing um, is that games like Saturday, moments like Saturday, when, when you feel that hurt after a game, um, Will, will really prepare them really, really well and, and really help improve us and, and learn learn quicker. So, yeah, I'm disappointed we didn't get all three points. I am really pleased with how we played for the majority of it against a good team. They are a good team, there's no doubt about it. Um, so, yeah, on the whole, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling much happier than I did on Saturday evening. It is a funny feeling, isn't it, when, when you concede that late that all of a sudden it does feel like a defeat and... Um... I think probably given a few months early, you might have taken a point against Oxford, but you know, obviously, given the way that things have panned out in the last few months, a point's actually a disappointing result. Yeah, it's, and it and it you know it probably is a good point. I think they've been on really good form as have we. We both got beat during the week, um, so it was probably it was a really important game for both teams. A really important game, and uh, I think before the game, a lot of people would have taken a point. But you know, we we back ourselves and we back the players against. Um, any team, if they're really the detail is good, their intensity is high. We've we've shown we can be really competitive against everyone or anyone in the league, and um, yeah, on the on the balance of it, a, a draw. A lot of people would probably say is fair. I think for eighty minutes we were really in control, and we didn't quite make the most of the opportunities we had in the final third. So, yeah, it's gone now. We'll we'll learn from it. There's no doubt about it. Um, and you know, I'd have to be a robot to come out and speak on Saturday night to not be disappointed conceding so late on. Um, and there are some really fine details that moving forward will help us and um, and hopefully avoid that situation again. Yeah, I don't think it was just you that was disappointed with it. I think everybody um, associated with MK Dons had, uh, had a little bit of agreements with, with the way it went in, but you know, it's, it's football at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, I'm ne- yeah I'm, things can happen. exactly. I'll never be happy with how it's gone in. I'll never, you know, I'll be... But what, what I do feel after watching the game, I feel energised, I feel excited about the group, I feel really positive about where we're going um, to respond with a really good performance against a very good team at this level on a, on a tough pitch and the way that we did really pleases me so um, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to another big week uh, we have a lot of games coming up and um, yeah I'm excited and, 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 and the boys should be as well A lot of rotation um, on Saturday as well it was I suppose a case of just trying to keep everybody fresh given, given you know Pretty intense games that they played in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I think obviously Houts coming back helps, so, so it doesn't mean we have to keep flogging Sirs for ninety minutes. Um, and he's played a lot of football uh, for someone who hadn't played much football before he'd come. So um, yeah, having having him back, Scotty obviously took a knock last week. And we couldn't quite get him ready for Tuesday, which was uh, frustrating because we thought we might be able to or we would be able to. 
Um, so he'd done brilliantly to to play and get through it. And but um, he took a kick when you know Winnell went down and got injured. And hopefully, you know, wish Sam Winnell all the best. Hope he's, he's been really unlucky of injury. So I hope hope it's not too serious. Um, but Scotty took a whack in in that collision as well. So. We just had to protect him a bit to make sure he's fit and available. And, and the rest is about, yeah, we trust all of the guys. Um, and we need energy. Danny Harvey obviously took a knock at half-time, before half-time, so that's come off. But the rest is about the two strikers, about keeping everyone fresh, especially at the top end of the pitch where players expend a lot of energy playing for us. It's very hard. It's very hard work. Um, and we trust everyone. And the subs have had a real impact recently, real positive impact in the game. Um, and I'm thought, you know, on the whole, I think they've done pretty well. Unfortunately, we just weren't able to, to hold out. On the injury front, how's how's David Kasumu looking? I mean, it, it feels like we ask about ask about him every week. He's yeah. due back shortly, but he was looking <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, no, he was looking great, and um, yeah, be, being honest, we trained at, at Woofton on uh, this week. He's been training for just over a week now, um, and he slipped, and he's and he's just had a little tweak again. So it's not as bad as as before, but. Um, we're having it scanned and, and assessing it, but it's really disappointing because he's worked so hard to get back in, in the picture. And we've missed him. You know, I think everyone will agree, and the players have been fantastic, but that sort of game when we need late on, they bring on so much energy, so much athleticism. Dave Kosuma in that situation really helps us. Um, so, you know, I spoke about it before. He was one of our best performing players. There's no doubt about it before he got injured. Um, so he's been a loss, but the guys who have come in have been brilliant. But yeah, I don't know when we're going to get him back now. I'm, I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gutted about it, and uh, so is he. But we need to make sure we focus on on making sure when he does come back this time, we, you know, we don't have any. Room. But it's just one of those things. We we trained on grass for the first time in a while, um, and we won't be doing that again for a while. Brilliant. It must be frustrating for him, especially as a young a young player who hasn't really had an awful lot of long injury spells out of the game and. You know, how, how do you how do you sort of put your arm around a player like him and, and say, look, this is this is just part of football? Um, yeah, I think we've had we've had numerous chats. We we uh, everyone is involved in when they're injured in every meeting, every bit of detail that's possible, and just told to be patient with it. He's getting really frustrated. He's never been injured before properly. Um, yeah, so really tough for Dave. Um, but we all love him. He's 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 developed a huge amount as a player and a person over. a a period of time and um, he's a very mentally strong and robust person he's really matured and um, he knows how important he is to us you know so we're we're currently um, in talks with David about extending his his contract here because we want him here long term he's a, he's a very va- valuable player for us not monetary value I'm talking about on the pitch well I'm sure at some point he will be financially valuable as well to the club so um, yeah we're in discussions with that he's keen to stay um, and I think showing that commitment to him and, and how much we want him whilst he's injured is, is important. And I suppose similarly on that um, contract side of things, how's, how are things going with Matthew Sorino? We've not seen him in the, in the squad or, or what, in, the, in, the, in the team an awful lot recently. Yes, <laughs> the situation's not really changed. I think um, he got offered a contract a long time ago that, that we see fair and, and fits into our structure at the club and for a young player. Um, and he, is, he hasn't been signed and, and there's been no real discussion from um, from his end. I love Matty. I l- when, uh, f- we, when we first took over, we extended his contract. He was on a six-month deal. Um, we showed some commitment to him. We put a lot of work into him. He's responded to that brilliantly. Um, but the situation now has, a, has affected him a little bit. Not his mentality or his attitude, but... Obviously, it affects it affects how you feel about uh, the club moving forward and how we feel about him as well. Because uh, you know, ideally, and you want people who really want to be part of it and really want to be here long term. And we've got people who are desperate and showing real commitment. You know, Matt O'Reilly, not could have signed at resigned at Fulham. He didn't. He, he wanted to be here really, really badly. Um, Scott Fraser chose a lot of chose us over a lot of other options. Harry Darling the same. So yeah, it's. Um, it's a it's a it's a frustrating situation for me, but at the same time, it's uh, he's not being frozen out. He's he's in the squad. I think he's not been in the squad once, um, and that wasn't anything to do with the contract. He knows why that was, and uh, he's back on the squad Saturday. He'll be involved tomorrow. He can get on at any point, so he has to be ready. But 
Um, Zach Jules has come in and done great, and Danny Harvey was playing really, really well on Saturday. So, um, and Ethan's been got better and better and better. So he has real competition, and uh, with guys that really want to be here. And um, so, yeah, he has a decision to make at some point, but I can't let the situation uh, rumble on to the end of the season and just let us all float through. That's not ideal for anyone. You mentioned Ethan Laird there. He was, I, I, I had him as, as man of the match. It was a close call between him and, and Harry Darling in that game. Um, he does feel like he's come on leaps and bounds since he's, uh, since he's joined your club. Yeah, he's... Um, He's put a lot of work in. What I would say is uh, the information and the amount of time spent with him by Luke Williams has been incredible. And they, he's re- all the wing backs with Luke. Luke has uh, been a coach for a very long time and he's he's outstanding with the individual that attacking third and what he's given them, the amount of detail. And Ethan's really responded to that. Really, really responded. As has Danny, as has Zach, uh, as has Matty over the period of time. And um, it should, goes to show you the amount of work that uh, they put in and they, the amount of detail that gets given to them and they listen and respond. Um, and the, and they, uh, yeah, I think they really look forward to their unit meetings with, with uh, Luke and Ben. I'm usually in the other room with Harry and Warren trying to um, help them a little bit. But, um, yeah, you know, he's, uh, Luke's incredible, the enthusiasm, the detail he gives them and, that, and uh, his performances. Ethan is, I'm sure he'll tell you the same, is... is um, we're giving him a platform and, and trying to help him and um, he's responding really well to that and he's getting better and better and better. Now we just need to add that last little bit which is that real composure, um, you know, that ice to add to his fire that he's got the power and uh, when he gets that, he, he's going to be uh, top, top. Gillingham then, uh, not, not a happy hunting ground, Bruce down the years for MK Dons, but I suppose that doesn't really make a, a, any odds to you. It's, it's about how you guys have been performing in the last few weeks. Yeah, we we really learned a lot from last year's game there. I think we the start of the improvement for us was after that game last year. Um, or we, uh, yeah, we we learned a hell of a lot. It's a really tough place to play. A manager who who knows the league really really well has got a strong identity with his team. They run hard. They work really hard. They've got aggression, intensity, and before you try and do anything, you have to match all that. And um, they are really good at what they do. And um, it's always, yeah, so you know you're in for a tough game. But um, I think that the guys have shown away from home this year that we're in a different place as a team, especially going away from home. And um, we have to try and make sure that we match all of that that we just spoke about and try and impose our own game as well. So it'll be a good challenge for us as a team who's in and around us at the moment. They had a good result on, on Saturday against one of the teams really high up in the league. Um, and we've probably felt unlucky to go away from that just drawing. So it will be a tough game, there's no doubt about it, but it's one I'm looking forward to and it's one that um, we have to show the same character and resilience and, and uh, togetherness connection that we've shown on, on numerous occasions away and if we do that, you know, we give ourselves a chance of winning. And it was two goals at two good times in the reverse feature at Stadium MK when uh, Cameron Jerome Carl Morris, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that was a really, really strong and, and dominant performance from us here at home. Um, we we had to work very hard for it as all the stuff I just spoke about we had to really show but we showed a real composure real control um, real quality and, and detail on the ball and we're going to have to show all of that tomorrow on a on a on a tighter pitch um, against a team who are who are feeling confident I'm sure so they've been in really good form as well so um, yeah it will be an interesting game it'll be a good challenge for us and um, two away games now so we we have to make sure we. We build on the point we got at the weekend and uh, make sure we turn that into a really good one.